how you will be record reimbursement journal entry in tally prime i am going to tell you in this video namaste dosto this is suman sharma and you are watching suman education hub english i hope you all are doing well so let's get started so today we will discuss about reimbursement journal entry in tally prime sometime what happened rca or our accountant who look our gst return work they paid our a uh, tedious payment our tax payment our itr tax payment gst payment by their pocket and after that they issue invoice or uh, they take that money in their salary so i am going to tell you how you will be record these kind of reimbursement entry in tally prime when your ca or your accountant paid your tax on behalf of you by their pocket so they can issue invoices or they can take that money in their salary so for maintaining this payment entry in tally prime we need to create reimbursement entry by their name it's totally up to you if you want to create a common ledger of reimbursement you can create or if you want to create reimbursement name wise ledger so you can create reimbursement name wise ledger in tally prime so let's get started let's suppose your ca paid your tax by their pocket so from gateway of tally we will press b and from the right hand side we will select journal voucher and by pressing control c i'm going to tell you how you will be create tax payment ledger let's suppose they have paid your gst tax payment so tax payment ledger will be created under indirect expenses group why indirect expenses group as because this is indirectly expenses for your business let's suppose tax amount it's paid tax amount is 20000 so 20000 will be debit and reimbursement ledger will be created so by pressing control c we will create here reimbursement ledger in bracket if you wish you can mention uh, your ca name or your accountant name so this will be identify whenever you will open this ledger so so this will be record who is this entry so i'm going to create here reimbursement ca ledger under group we will create current liability why under current liability as because ca paid tax or ca paid tds on the behalf of us so this is current liability on the company and on the employer so by pressing control a you can save the ledger so this is how you have to book the payment entry done by ca through reimbursement ledger so this is how you can record tax payment done by ca through reimbursement entry in tally prime now there is a two way to pay this amount to ca first you can add this amount in salary in salaries ca and you can pay through salary second way if your ca issue invoice and charge this amount on their invoices so you can pay through invoice as well now i'm going to show you if you are going to pay this amount and if you are going to add this amount in cs salary so how you will be add this amount in cs salary every at the month of end we book our employee salary so first let me show you how you will be record salary provision entry for cs so here i'm going to debit salary let's suppose cs salary is 50000 so 50000 will be debit and reimbursement ca ledger will also be debit so reimbursement amount was 20000 so 20000 will be debit and salary payable ledger will be credited so Uh, if this ledger is not created so by pressing control c you can create this salary payable ledger under current liabilities and save this ledger so this is how you can record your reimbursement amount of cs in salary when we will release our cs salary in the next month so from the right hand side select payment voucher as because we are going to pay to our cs salary so salary payable amount will be debited so select salary payable amount before this ledger was credited now this ledger will be debited with total 
and you are going to pay by your bank so bank ledger will be credited so this is how you can record and click on the go to option and let me show you by opening here reimbursement cs ledger so reimbursement ca ledger now you will be see this ledger is nil first ca paid takes on the behalf of us by their pocket and after that we have added that amount in their salary and we paid through their salary so this is how you can also maintain next i'm going to show you sometime what happen who is uh, handling cash or accountant handle cash in their company so sometime what happen in the absence of boss or in the absence of fund there is no fund in company so sometime uh, it's happened we have to pay business expenses through our pocket so if employee paid their business expenses in by their pocket so how you will be record their reimbursement entry in tally prime so from gateway of tally we will press journal voucher from the right hand side select journal voucher and first i am going to show you how you will be record expenses reimbursement entry paid by employee so by pressing control c let's suppose the here employee is going to pay repair and maintenance expenses so repair and maintenance expenses ledger will be created under indirect expenses gst will be not applicable in the case of you are not receiving invoice let's suppose repair and maintenance charges is 5000 paid by pressing control c if you wish you can create reimbursement common ledger or if you wish you can create reimbursement ledger by employee name wise so i'm going to create here in reimbursement ledger let's suppose there is a employee suman who is accountant who is handling cash in her company and she is going to pay business expenses by her pocket so this is how you can book re repair and maintenance expenses paid by suman employee after that you have uh, company have to pay reimbursement amount to the employee so 5000 was paid by suman so 5000 amount company will pay to suman through her salary so first i am going to show you how you will be paid this amount by bank so reimbursement suman ledger will be debited and bank ledger will be credited so this is how if you are going to pay through bank so record something like this and if you are going to pay in cash so select the payment voucher and reimbursement suman ledger will be debited and cash ledger will be credited so this is how you can pay your reimbursement amount amount to your employee through bank or through cash next i am going to show you if you want to pay through salary so first we need to book salary every at the man, month of and we need to book our employee salary so first we are going to book the employee salary so let's suppose suman salary is 30000 so, th so salary expenses will be debited with 30000 and reimbursement suman ledger will be debited with 5000 and total salary payable amount it's 35000 so total it's 35000 is payable to suman select payment voucher we are going to pay to suman so salary payable amount will be debited with 35000 and bank will be credited with 35000 so this is how you can book reimbursement expenses paid by your employee journal entry in tally prime i hope this video help you out if this video will help you out so please like share and subscribe to my channel as much as you can share